Welcome Capricorn and happy birthday to you guys. Today's the 30th of December, so you're already well into Capricorn as we're in Mercury retrograde as well. I'm going to pull three cards to set the tone today. We're going to pull from the Journey of Love from my half deck of uh, Rider Waite. It's just people. And then the um, Tarot of Sexual Magic. We're going to do the read in the Universal Golden Tarot and clarifiers with Rider Waite mini reversals as well in this deck only today. So let's get going with this. It is a general reading. If you want more information um, for other kinds of readings, you can check out my information below in the details or on my website, twinflames3344.com. I have a CD out there also called Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames by Evelyn Stainthorpe, if you want to check that out. And otherwise, let's get going here. I have pre-shuffled, but I'm going to continue to do so. So we're going to pull from the Journey of Love first. So we're going to get an energy, a person, and then a sexual energy or a uh, kind of like a passion meter there to see what's actually going on. So from the Journey of Love for Capricorn, January 2023, and welcome to 2023 almost. And 23 is the King of Wands. And we're also going into the uh, Chinese year of the rabbit. I think that's right. And we are also changing into Lilith from Cancer to Leo in Lil Lilith and Leo. So a lot of changes coming up in January. And this is for Capricorn, 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 January 2023. What is the good news here for Capricorn 2023? Okay, we have two, three cards coming up here. I was trying to get one, but they wanted to come up three. I have to take them as they come. So gifts received. In the transition here with the 13, we also have Woman of Light, the 49 of getting your wish, um, getting perhaps having the light shown on you, but also receiving the light, receiving the sun, um, energizing yourself with, with nature and the sun. And then here is the legacy of light. And there's that Christ vibration of literally Jesus and Mary Magdalene energy and Mother Nature here, which is all around us. The transition to self-satisfaction through the Knight of Swords, which is the Messenger of Truth. Could be a knight in shining armor as well. Uh, somebody could be camping outside as well in this energy. Um, but it's just really positive, natural energy there. And we have the Yin Yang Lover coming up next. Somebody bending over backwards to get this. Uh, this is like a thorn in your side, right? Or the needle in the haystack trying to get, or that, uh, you know, the hole that's made in the, in the balloon, trying to push that needle back out again to avoid any interference or destruction. It's like a crystal going through the wall of something, like the sperm getting through the egg, and someone bending over backwards to stop this from happening. But also someone perhaps trying too hard, right, to, to be everything to everyone, and needing to pull back on that for more balance. It's all about the eight and the dance and the balance and the yin yang lover. So we're gonna, Leave that out because that was just an after card there. But the underlying energy is man of the earth, woman of the sky. So it's very much about the dance between the masculine and feminine and walking away within with the eight of cups over here. And again, this energy of the sunshine again coming in and all the women here laying down their hair in the vortex to welcome the masculine, the sun. And again, there's that second coming of Christ as well with um, Advent. That's been coming up for me this week as well. All right, so we have that. We're going to put these guys up here. And then we are going to pull a card from here. This is my half deck. It's a Rider weight laminated deck, but I only have the characters in here. There's no scenes, just the characters to give you more of a direct um, energy of who you're dealing with, perhaps yourself. And let's see what comes up from this deck. This is for Capricorn, January 2023. Capricorn, 2023. Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn. Capricorn. There we go. King of Pentacles. Oh, we got the Emperor here too. So very strong masculine power here. Whether that's you or the other person, we have the Knight of Cups offering love here in the underlying energies. These got up here too. I'm trying to only get one card. I mean, it was just the King of Pentacles, but since the Emperor was right next to him, I had to bring that out for you as well. And then here we have for the Tarot of Sexual Magic. 
which is also pre-shuffled. Let's see what's going on. So, you know, that's very Capricornian energy. It's very, you know, business, power, um, success. <sighs> Looks like the emperor's irritated with the king of pentacles, though. Let's see here. For Capricorn 2023, January. January 2023, Capricorn. Capricorn. Mm, it wants to come out. So I'm going to put it back and, and pull again, but there could be some separation here or um, disappointment. Somebody might be walking away but they have a snake at their heels there, right? Walking a very fine line here in a separation or disappointment or a broken heart, perhaps going towards a new life here. So I'm gonna pull again. Capricorn, Capricorn, January, 2023. Okay, so we have the six of wands here, which is that energy of leading the way, but in this deck, it's like putting it all out there, maybe putting too much out there, which was like the energy of bending over backwards in the card that came out after those three cards. So perhaps exposing too much or willing to uh, take a risk to put your ass on the line. This also could be someone who's being too friendly with people or too sexual with people, um, especially if there's little kids around here with the bunny and the bird here. So that's, and we have the devil right next to it, okay? And this could be someone who's feeling castrated trying to mark their territory here, right? It's very opposite energy here, right? Where this one is putting it all out there and then the devil's pulling back after feeling castrated, not being able to, to, to be, be the devil that they truly are. And again, that's Capricorn energy coming up here. So the bottom of the deck here is, there could be a page of uh, pentacles here too, trying, you know, hurting themselves. You know, those students who are A students who um, are trying to be perfect, but they're doing things in private that you're not knowing about, that could be coming out. The sunshine is in the underlying energy here. So at the, the underlying energy is beautiful between the man, the differences between the man of the earth and the woman of the sky walking away within. And again, the women laying their hair on the line for the masculine to come in. And then here's that offer of love. And then in the sunshine here, perhaps an offer of a vacation is coming up here as well. And let's see how this all plays out. Put these guys down here. Let's see if we can fit them in. There we go. Okay. Without burning the house down, right? All right. So for the read for Capricorn, January 2023. And your cards came out. You know, the King of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Devil are all your cards. It does not have to be something um, codependent or addictive. But it is the goat energy of climbing that hill and never giving up. But there's this energy of, of naturalness, of the feminine energy coming together. Again, it's Jesus and Mary Magdalene up there in Mother Nature. And then here's this King of Pentacles, an emperor, which is like the, antith the antithesis. Just very different energies, right? One is very of the material world. One is very not of the material world. And that can be why there's two cards, why these two cards are up there like this, right? Because this is coming up as that natural energy of someone behaving like their natural self, perhaps. Maybe they just like to expose their butt. And then here is that energy of the devil, of perhaps selling your soul to the devil for money, fame, and material goods. So let's see what goes on for Capricorn 2023. 20, I keep feeling like I'm getting winded. I, I, you guys probably need a break or a vacation or something. You're probably working too much. January 2023. January 2023. January 2023. Okay, we have the Ace of, of Wands. So there's new passion here in the middle of your read. This can be passion, creativity, growth in something being offered a passion project, being offered sex. Um, some kind of, and it's definitely some new energy there with the one. The challenges for you, oh, not this, sorry. <laughs> I still have to shuffle again. So you may be feeling a little, um, I wanna say disconcerted. Um, Maybe, you know, Capricorn is really solid and very grounded. 
I'm very logical about everything. You may be feeling flighty because that's what I'm feeling like as I was just pulling that card that I wasn't supposed to pull because I'm shuffling. So the challenge here, the challenge here is the, the temperance card. And this is all about patience and balance, taking one step at a time off that beaten path, being very patient. It's a higher love type of energy here, being very natural, allowing things to happen naturally. And this is a big challenge for you as it's coming up right here. And the foundation here for you, the foundation for Capricorn, January 2023. January 2023 for Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, January 2023, Capricorn, January 2023. There's a, whole, there's a whole bunch that just came out, so I'm going to lay these cards down. You have the Hierophant and the underlying energies. And again, in this deck, it's very much about servitude, right? These two are bowing down to the Hierophant. It's very much about the boys' club as well. There's two H's on their backs there. And the H for me is the lap dance, this 3D energy of the eight, as opposed to the 5D energy of the, of the eight, which is flowing. And it's like the do si -do. So this could be a religious leader, um, any kind of leader. It can be a Taurus, someone who sets the rules, who sets the guidance, or perhaps holds up the antenna, like to test the weather for everybody. But again, this is an energy of servitude. So it has a little bit of a dark connotation to it. All right, we have Taurus here and we have Sagittarius as the challenge. In the recent past, you have the uh, Hanging Man. And this has to do with awakening and wisdom. And usually the Hanging Man, when it's uprights, because I'm doing all uprights in this deck, are like this. But I've never felt in this deck that this was the correct upright. It doesn't look upright. This looks upright. So there's, there's this energy of awakening, of a bright idea perhaps, or ego at play. But you notice there's like a vacuum energy of vacuuming the hair up. I don't know if somebody's been um, blow drying their hair in a certain way or like wearing a ponytail a lot or just feeling the energy pulling them up. And this also can be Capricorn energy for me. It's typically Pisces, but I see it more as Capricorn. So there could be an awakening there, an idea or egos at play, especially with this here font energy over here and crowning for you is the knight of swords rushing in with the truth there and it looks like they're rushing back to the past to this one over here with the ego or the idea or perhaps the one awakening this is a this is an opportunity being offered and then here's another um, opportunity or some information that's being offered maybe they're related maybe they're not let's see where this goes Someone, maybe someone wanting to get the truth to you. Maybe someone's offering you this big passionate offer that's too good to be true and this one wants to warn you before you accept this offer. But it also could be just follow-up information about this, right? Getting the offer and then a bunch of information that follows um, so you can get uh, more of an idea of what it's really all about. Um, what's coming up for you is this Five of Cups, which has to do with grief and loss, regret, the past. Again, not seeing what you have, not being in gratitude, but again, it can just be a loss, which of course, if you're grieving, you're grieving and you lost someone, you missed someone. This could be, you know, the feeling of losing these three cups, but still having these two over here. Maybe these are two you never considered before, but this is a very desolate place. Maybe energies by a bridge over here, by the city, or perhaps a city that used to be. And Jerusalem may be coming up, especially with... Um, uh, Jesus and Mary coming up in your read as well. It's a very desolate place, a very lonely, quiet. It reminds me of when I was, <laughs> when I was in um, Italy. I was skiing in the middle of the country. It wasn't like a really a set up resort, like so. It was not easy to get back up the hill. You had to walk like a block or two, before, you know, and then go up the the hill that way. So it was not a very convenient place to ski. But um, it reminds me of that place because we ended up, and this was many, many years ago, but we ended up on the top of a mountain that was not the right slope for us. You could not see over the ledge and it felt like hell because it was cold, it was windy, 
There was nothing above you. You were at the top of the world and you could not see over the ledge you were about to go down. It was like a very scary, cold place. And this is what's coming up for me for this. You see yourself as the nine of cups though, which is very happy within yourself, which is great. I mean, this could be energies around you of other people and not wanting to take that energy in. This, this also could be arrogance, right? Being very self-satisfied. This is someone who looks like they've put on too much weight. This could be someone who's, who drinks too much or likes to party. Maybe they buy drinks for everybody there and so they get a big ego about themselves. But again, this is connected with this hierophant, right? Getting to be the leader, the one that they bow, bow down to. So there is some arrogant energy there coming up. What's around you, how others see you, is the empress. So you may be seeing yourself as the nine of cups of getting your wish, being happy with yourself, but others are seeing you more as this mother energy or a birthing energy, really knowing how to create. Or this could literally be that you're a mother or you're about to give birth or maybe your mother's around you all the time, or this is Taurus energy, all right? So you have Taurus and Taurus. Perhaps you Capricorn are surrounded by Taurus or people in power, the mother energy or the matriarch of this family. And then here is the patriarchal religious energy over here who tells people what to do. And there's so much servitude over here today. I don't know why, I mean, I always get that energy, but not like today. And again, there's that very cold place here. Well, the block for you here is the, um, is the devil, which came up here as well. But this one's much more of that, you know, ball and chain of servitude or being chained to your partner, being chained to a religion, being chained to the devil. Maybe you sold your soul to the devil, to your workplace, right? Working 24 hours a day, never having a family life, that kind of stuff. Um, and this can re reference a movie theater as well or some kind of pornographic movie theater. I don't know if some of you are, are um, uh, connected to something like that, but that could be as well. And again, there's that energy of marking their territory with the devil above, holding on to the couple here. Maybe they don't want to be together anymore, but they're being held together by this energy. And here's someone trying to mark their territory, feeling castrated. And here's, you know, this is very sexual energy under the devil like the devil made me do it, like you're being ordered to behave in this very sexual way. And uh, there's also this energy of the feminine being more sexual than the masculine here, right? And flirting with a lot of people and the masculine feeling castrated, just trying to um, feel like this person belongs to them, especially if they're married here. It's like the feminine energy putting it all out there. But there is, this is the block for you pull this over so Teddy doesn't come into your video. So the challenge for you is the angel. The block for you is the devil. All right. So you have the polarities. Your blocks are the polarities, right? Wanting to be the savior and having to deal with the devil. Wanting to find peace and balance in that higher love and yet also blocked by perhaps your desires, whether that be for sex or for power to achieve something, to be chained to something, to have someone else tell you what to do. Again, any kind of addic addiction or codependency, or perhaps the block is another Capricorn person as well. What's coming up at the end for you though is the Ace of Cups, which is the Holy Grail. It's an offer of the love. The Holy Grail is the feminine energy holding space for the masculine Holy Communion to come in right, and drop their seed into their space to commune and to, um, to be as one, right, and be an overjoy of abundance of all this water that's coming out, right, this and being so much in love that you just, you just keep overflowing or you keep crying because you're just so joyful all the time. But there's this, it's such a um, polarity here of the energies you're dealing with and the sadness and yet the happiness. It's like um, ha trying to merge the polarities to come into the center and find that balance in such a polarized world. Again, you have the angel and the devil and you have the hierophant, which can represent the religious community or God energy versus the devil. So you definitely have that polarity of good and bad. 
and the empress is coming over here with the bad. And that can represent someone who is very sexual and puts it all out there and is castrating the partner or the husband because they don't feel like they like they're not feeling loyal to them and they don't get to be the man or maybe this is a man who was like this and now a woman comes in who he meets his match and now he's not he's not the man he's not always getting his way she is but maybe he was this so there's this yeah there's this def duality between the mass and the feminine within yourself of good and evil of the angel and the devil of selling your soul to the devil or selling your soul right to be the savior which isn't good either right you want to teach people to save themselves but not actually save them but again there's that energy of healers and healing people who need help and there's a fine line there between balance and being god right so what is the uh, what is hanging in what is the connection to this ace of cups hanging in limbo what is the connection to that hanging limbo at the end of your read? And here's the Four of Cups. So this connection has to do with this card here. And I'm not going to pull all the extra cards today just to what's hanging in limbo. Um, and this is about boredom and apathy, but obviously not seeing the value in this cup being offered because you have three other cups just like it right here. But you're not seeing that it's being offered from God, right? Maybe you don't even see it at all because you're so in your head that you're not seeing what's around you or perhaps this is the same offer that was uh, turned down three times and here it comes again are you going to take it this time or are you going to feel sorry for yourself or are you taking time out to ground and integrate what you've just gone through or learn or master how to receive love are you going to let somebody else love you are you going to let someone in and what's hanging in limbo at the end of this read capricorn is the Wheel of Fortune. Perhaps being schooled by the goose is just what you needed. There's two little ones, you know, hitting the books, being little angels, and there's someone over here being very patient and reading on their own, while the Sphinx over here is schooling the goose who doesn't want to be quiet, right, who has a beef with this. But resisting things is what causes the problems, and it's learning to surrender and allow all of it in to observe it and process it, to allow it to pass through you and so that, you know, so that you can go past this lesson onto the next. So there's beautiful energy here at the end. You have the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. What more could you ask for? And I'm, I wasn't going to pull any more cards, but the Emperor's right after that. I wanted to let you know that because the Emperor's right here as well. And wow, there's justice right next to that too. Okay. So two big major um, arcana cards, and this can be Aries and Libra as well. But again, this can be like the justice system and the presidential seat, which is coming up in 2023, right, to assess that, that energy. And um, right next to justice is the queen of swords, right? So you have this um, Libra energy as well of a feminine person here. That also could be a third person who's talking about justice and the emperor's power and the need to walk away from things when necessary to walk away and within instead of being in fear or worry about things so the bottom of the deck is the five of wands which is conflict competition it can be playing sports or acting it can be the pursuit of happiness right but there's a lot of energies with group events because you're dealing with lots of different types of people and who do you resonate and are you affiliated with the right groups All right, so from, let's go ahead and start clarifying here. Well, actually, I'm going to put this over here. I am going to give you the underlying energies there, too. This is very interesting because so much um, nature versus... Um, the material realm and the underlying energies here we have we have this one is you know that's like the Grinch right hoarding or holding on to things and never letting things go perhaps not having a lot so they're afraid so they're in fear 
that they could lose it all because they only have four pentacles. This can also be holding on to something, just not wanting to let it go in a positive way as well. But it's not positive for them because in this card, he's definitely that, got that Scrooge or hoarding mentality here. Again, regarding the group, trying to keep their stuff away from the group. There's energetic exchange here. Perhaps a big offer was made. Um, there's, let's see, yeah. All right, so here's that uh, Knight of Cups offering love. And it could have been to somebody who was in prison who got out and is now offering love. Or perhaps this is someone offering love to someone they know that's feeling anxious or imprisoned. Perhaps offering love to the hermit who's offering light. And there's that love light energy. In a bold move or traveling, ascending as the feminine within the masculine, ascending in this chariot, right? The world is a stage, taking the show on the road. And there are the Sphinx again, right? The polarities and, and answering a question with a question just knowing what question to ask, and then making the announcement or calling someone out, a judgment call, a wake-up call, or just calls to make, you know, waking up the dead here, and the trumpeting, offering a new life, offering time, money, and energy, or the gold coin, which can represent the Christ consciousness, which isn't about religion, it's about unity consciousness of bringing the world together and understanding that we're all one in the collective energy, which you can all tap into and access and use your abilities through meditation. So here we have the energetic exchange, a lot of back and forth can be the arrows of love or lots of communication and travel regarding this offer here. And then someone is being very scroogey here, right? Not wanting to share, but there's an offer here. That, again, this is about receiving love. Someone's trying to give them something big and they have four and they're refusing, they're refusing to receive it. They're refusing to allow love in. And then this causes conflict or a fight within them both or within a group here who's trying to offer this help or money, time or effort. All right, so let's see here. Let's see how this works out here. All right, so this is how it, I'm not going to put all of them out. We have the, the sovereign right here and the underlying energies who might have been feeling imprisoned and then becoming the Knight of Cups, getting themselves out of that prison or anxiety place, and then coming into um, this energy here. So we have Virgo, Cancer, for me this is Aquarius, and again, a lot of fiery energies and stubbornness here. And again, there's definitely an offer of love that's being refused because someone doesn't understand how to receive love. Okay. So the conflict, and again, it's, it's reiterated here with this offer of passion, this offer of truth, or perhaps the knight in shining armor coming in for you, and then you fighting about it. Now, does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. So we have Capricorn, and we've got perhaps two Capricorns, two Taurus here, Sagittarius and Libra for me. And then there was, there's um, Virgo, Cancer, and Aquarius in the underlying energies. And it looks like those energies are offering this big time, money, and effort, or arrows of love. And this earthy energy of perhaps floating their coin, right? Not feeling stable, perhaps having to deal with a group or competition is not feeling like they can accept this because maybe they feel like it's like selling their soul to the devil, like they want something from me. When it's coming from, I don't know, is it coming from that place? Because you have both of those energies up there. And again, it can be a perspective of how you grew, you grew up. So it's normal for you, maybe not normal for somebody else and vice versa. So how someone presents this offer may be very weird to you because not what you're used to in the way you grew up. So you think there's something wrong with it or something tainted about it. And that can go both ways, whether good or bad as well. So, and there's definitely sadness here. And again, there's this energy of sadness for turning their back on the devil. 
in order to play out the angel's hand, so to speak. That could be having to turn their back on a Capricorn or you in order to be more angelic and offer true passion to you. Another Capricorn, but that could be Pisces energy as well, or really any energy, if it is the hanging man. Trying to be wise and see new perspectives. Or seeing what it looks like from the top before they make a decision. So this five of, of wands there and the underlying energy is being clarified with the fool who's free, right? Very different energies of being on your own with an open heart, free to leap with your dog or your loyal friend there. Not needing to look where you're going because you're not worried about it. You know that the universe gonna, is at your back, the sun's at your back. And this is that conflict energy. Well, because there's someone right behind you. You may not be aware of. Right? This is someone who's ready to lie, cheat, and steal. But I don't think either one of them is aware they're going to bump into each other at this moment, right at the cliff. So right at their time, they're running away and not looking where they're going. And the fool is looking up because they don't need to look where they're going. All of a sudden, is this crash between the fool and the thief. Again, the polarity is coming together and this fight ensues or this competition or this clash, right? Where they just crash into each other like the song. And right behind this one who's running away with all the stuff, maybe stealing something, lying, cheating, or stealing, um, is running away from the Page of Swords and the Knight of Wands. And they're running after them. And this is so funny. It's reminding me of, I was at a car dealer one day, and this was many years ago as well. And we saw there was an old woman driving a car that was only half there. She had literally been in an accident and she was running from the scene of the crime. And she was an old woman holding on to the steering wheel, but all the car around her steering wheel was gone. And she's driving down the road with the rest of traffic. <laughs> and someone's yelling out from behind her, call 911. It was, it was just funny. But that's the energy I'm getting here, right? You know, the, the old woman blissfully making her getaway here with the young people going after her. So I don't know if you have someone who's older who may do things that's not quite in their right mind, um, but that could be a situation for you as well. Why is the hanging man in the recent past there for Capricorn? January 2023. This card right there. The Seven of Cups. Okay, so they're seeing a lot of, they're seeing synchronicities. Maybe they don't know if they're illusions or not, but they make them feel good. It's heaven in their eyes, having lots of choices, even though one may be an unknown. Maybe that's the one. But they're enjoying having all of these options or seeing these synchronicities or heaven in their eyes. And then there's the death card. Right? Like, it's like Debbie Downer energy. Like, I was in bliss, and then this comes in and just stomps over my bliss. And this is a big wake-up call for someone. Maybe they didn't realize this person, maybe they always gave the other person the benefit of the doubt and has this big wake-up call that every time they're happy, this person stomps all over it because they don't want them to be happy. They want themselves to be happy and you to be in service to them, that kind of energy. And then we have the Queen of Wands reversed. And this could be an ex or a lack of love here. Again, this could be a divorce going on. We the four, oh, There we go, look. So there's obviously something going on with a breakup with the Queen of Wands reversed and the King of Wands upright. These could also be siblings, where there could be a fallout of siblings or just two fire signs who don't like each other. This also could be a death of some kind. This also could be a wake-up call for someone that if they don't stop this certain behavior, that they could die. Or if they don't leave this person, it could be their death. Maybe this person wants them to die, so they'll get all their money. Because it doesn't look like there's affection there. It looks like somebody's, maybe it's Capricorn, so you may be working yourself to death. And the, pers the other person is just waiting for that to happen for their payday type of thing. Or it can just be, you know, two people not getting along. 
Maybe there was a death in the family. Somebody might be getting messages from beyond. Maybe there's this energy of somebody who cheated death. And this could be somewhere someone's been sick for a long time. And it's been really hard work to take care of them. And maybe somebody thought that they were going to pass. And then they didn't. They cheated death. And then they had to continue taking care of them. There's all sorts of scenarios that can come up in this kind of energy. The foundation here is the Hierophant with the High Priestess. So this is very religious or spiritual energy. This could be a priest and a nun as well if you're Catholic. Um, this can also be a psychic person, right? Someone who sees all different religions, not just one. But again, it's the secret keeper, right? The, this could be also a religious leader or just the, you know, the leader of the community, the establishment, the one who keeps all secrets, perhaps as accountant. You know, there's a secret keeper here. And this is mega Pisces energy for me, right? Someone who's very pure. And again, that energy, right? The pure lady in public and then right? The, the very sexual person in their private life who wants to sleep naked. So there's a Taurus energy or this leader type energy, a religious energy, a religious connotation that it's not okay to be natural every day out in the world, right? You need to be demure because your religion says so. Even though there's nothing wrong with this here of being natural, and again, there's this tie of being natural and showing your skin with someone putting their butt out there or being naked for the world. That can be literally naked, taking your clothes off in front of the world, but also just being yourself completely in front of the world. And someone else wasn't raised that way. They were raised strict religiously, and they don't do that. That's not proper. That's not a proper lady. And yet they're a very beautiful person and even well-rounded, very natural here. So there's this conflict there as well. This also could be two people within the same person. And this can be in this Taurus person. And someone's conflicted, this Taurus energy, or guidance energy, traditional energy, is feeling very con conflicted about themselves because they were taught not to allow this other side of themselves out. And now they, it's like they can't not let it out. They have to be free. There's this fiery Aries energy that's going to fight for their freedom so they can be who they are. The central energy here oh, is this two of swords reversed, which is getting new information, clarity. But the reason why people stay here is because that's peace of mind. If they get this new information, even though they know they need to make a decision about it, it may knock them off balance. It may not be what they want to hear. So there's this energy of a new offer coming in. And is it what you want? And do you need more information over here? as this Knight of Cups comes in to offer love. Or do you, or from this passionate offer, are you going to be proposing here? Are you proposing to sunshine, to children, to pets, to, you know, the sun is all that. It's the energy. Or is it proposing to the sun because Jesus came up and we have the angels right here. And yet here is the emperor all happy with himself here. Very, being very pleased. And you don't know whether they're happy with themselves or are they being arrogant like this energy here. And again, we have the emperor and then the king of pentacles. Is that the same person? Or is perhaps the emperor the king of wands dealing with the uh, king of pentacles? And he's given the sideways glance. They don't agree on their views. One may be alternative and the other one might be traditional. So the block is the angel here. So who is the angel? Maybe that's the problem, not knowing who's the angel and who's the devil. The hermit reversed. This could be somebody. It could be a parent, right, who's Alzheimer's or dementia, losing their mind. It can be you losing your mind, right, feeling over, over isolated, or now needing to come out with what you've learned in your wisdom of being alone here and shedding some light on things. What is it that you've, you're coming out with? And this could be an offer of love. This is this Knight of Cups offering love to her. This also could be to children. Children. 
Maybe someone's coming out to their children as well, right? Maybe you've always been the angelic parent and now you have to come out to your children about something and they may no longer see you as the angel. And there's the justice of this, justice, truth and balance alignment with offering love and learning how to receive love, okay? And again, here we have the emperor and the justice system. Crowning here is the Knight of Swords. We have both of these, or actually three of these. So there's the war. This is someone taking the field down with no emotion, right? There's no heart involved here. It's all about the truth and whether they like it or not. And he's not on the offensive here. It looks like he's already battled them and won, or he's just standing with his swords. That's all he needs to do to get these guys to walk away because this one doesn't care. He just wants to win. So it's like winning at all costs. And this is coming up on this Knight of Swords, right? That's a very arrogant energy, which can be this energy right here. And it's coming off of the Queen of Pentacles, or is this someone defending her honor? And then it's releasing her from her prisoner anxiety and setting her free. And this could be, you know, maybe she's the one flirting doing this and because then it makes him step up to the plate to be her defender because otherwise he won't show her that energy. But it's not the proper way of doing things, of course. Or, or this could just be her bodyguard, right? Maybe some people are harassing her and he's sending them away, but she's upright here. But whatever this person's doing for her is setting her free. But is it setting this person free? That's the question. And this energy, that energy can be the queen of pentacles bringing truth to you whether you're capricorn or whether that's a pisces energy um, dealing with the wisdom of the group or the fight the conflicts so this energy of new information it's like this sagittarius energy is bringing this passion energy to capricorn but you're not sure how to receive it. And then you receive this energy, which is very aggressive. But it's truthful information. It's just not very loving. And the Queen of Pentacles may be behind it. And maybe it sets her free by putting it out there like that. Right? That may be someone even seeing me like that, which is not the case. But... That could be seen as a lot of different things. And the Queen of Pentacles can be an earth sign. So it could be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. And again, you have a lot of Capricorn and Taurus in this energy, but you have Virgo in the underlying energy as well. So again, either the Queen of Pentacles wanting this air sign to step up to the plate, and the only way she can do that is by flirting. So he'll want to defend his territory. So, and that's a very codependent relationship, right? It's not, it's not a good relationship. And again, this is, this is right on top of the, this King of Wands over here. And we have Scorpio back, Scorpio upright and Gemini reversed over there on you. And perhaps dealing with the death of someone or someone stomping on your, on your visions for yourself, your happiness, your bliss. And for you, this could be a Scorpio or it could be this couple over here with Gemini or the, the, who are breaking up that are bringing you down. And maybe someone never wants to be brought down. They just want to stay in that bliss. So that could be a misconception about wanting to stay in love and light and not see anything else. Whereas you, for balance, you need to observe everything, the good and the bad, and just allow it all to be and see your new perspectives on everything without interference. So there's definitely a learning process going on here of someone allowing themselves to receive love and not stay in situations that are not serving their highest good. What's coming up here is the Five of Cups. Why? We have the Empress reversed here. And she's right here. So she may be grieving or others may be grieving her loss. She may have lost a pregnancy as well. There's definitely sadness there. 
maybe feeling pushed to their emotional limit, just crying all the time. Again, codependencies and addictions, being chained to someone they don't want to be chained to. And again, this could be the empress who doesn't want to be around the emperor anymore. Maybe she sees the emperor as the devil. You know, she could be one of the Taurus energies that's here. I'm getting the idea, though, that the devil's not actually the devil. That the Hierophant may be the devil, right? And it's the confusion of why this religious energy is supposed to be the savior, right? But maybe they're the tainted energy, right? Who have blocked you from being your true self. And here is the devil, which is actually just a Capricorn person with codependent behavior with this other person or the Empress over here. You see yourself as the Nine of Cups, why? The Page of Wands reversed. So there could definitely could be some arrogance here because this could be, this is not someone who's young and inspired and hopeful. This is someone who's frustrated or sick and tired or all over the place, like their energy. Like I said, there's some airy energy, which Capricorn normally isn't. But this could be a kid, you know, runner, this is physical energy, right? It's not just verbal. This is someone like running all over the place, totally out of control. And is that you or is that a child that you're dealing with or a pet that you're dealing with, right? Maybe they're dumping a load, they're dumping multiple loads or burdens or someone dumping their responsibilities. You know, it could be a pet pooping all over the house. It could be you, you know, them quitting their job because they don't feel like it. This can be also someone who gets hurt working out the gym too much, right? That they need to dump this burden. They can't take it anymore. And there's the tower at work and the two of cups reversed so i don't know if this is if you're if you work somewhere where your family or your partner also works because there could be that relationship at work but this doesn't have to be work it can be school it can be the church and there's some kind of someone's dumping all of their burdens their responsibilities all of a sudden like suddenly freaking out again causing chaos or this conflict here Everything erupts at work or church or school in some kind of disconnect where someone's breaking up or not seeing eye to eye or pissed off because they're never there face to face. And that could be this empress reversed who's pissed off and has had enough. They're tired of crying. They're pushed to their limit. Maybe they've been sweating it out or trying to make things work, but it's not for them. And then here we have the empress here. So what does she have to say? So she is coming up as a waking up uh, maybe she's got a big ego maybe she's not depressed maybe she's pissed off and she's pushing in all her pissed offness she's pushing onto you Capricorn here and here she doesn't want to feel that ucky feeling so she could just you know be someone who's kind of cold you know a cold boss it can be too extreme someone who's really mean uh, like a power hungry person but it also could be someone who's totally dependent right they're really soft and sweet but they make you feel guilty so you'll do everything for them so there's these two roles that come up here as well if it's not someone who's actually gone through a legitimate loss and here she is not seeing eye to eye or at a distance here in uh, having an idea, an awakening, or dealing with egos at play here. And here is getting over it, needing to get over oneself, getting over the grief, the loss, the regret, the past, the guilt and shame. To just wake, it's like, just wake up and smell the coffee, get over it. I don't know if she's saying that to you or you're saying that to her. But again, there's this energy of Taurus on both sides. Maybe she's very religious, very uh, addicted to the traditional church. And you may not, you know, be so much into that and maybe have actually very different beliefs. So the block here is the devil. Why is that the block here? There's that ace of wands. The sexual energy is being associated with the devil, right? Something very sexual. Um, unless it's like another project and you're a workaholic, but it's addictive behavior here. And there's the devil again, temptation coming in again, another temptation of sex, creativity or growth, more money. But this time it's coming from a very innocent place. 
Maybe it's just an innocent Capricorn and a loving message. And there is that cup, that fourth cup that's not being accepted. It's been ignored three times and here it comes again. And you're seeing it as a block because you see it as the devil temptation, whereas the offer is actually very pure at heart. It's the page of cups and very blissful at that. So it's like you're cutting off your nose to spite your face. And then here we have the ace, the um, ace of cups. And the three of cups coming together here in joy with the king of cups reversed. And maybe he's the one who snuck into the party. I have a message that I did. I haven't presented it yet, but I did a read this morning, um, which I'm going to post. But the king of cups. Um, definitely could be that energy. What I'm saying is this King of Cups could be this thief over here who's trying to get into this party or this get-together, this gathering, but they're not invited, or they're really emotionally detached, which can be that energy up here of the Five of Swords. It's like the guard, right? They're very manipulative. They know how to manipulate energy or people. Um, they can be very detached or over-emotional and alcoholic. But who else, who else, you know, would more want to be at this party where they may be drinking? And maybe that's someone's addiction as well. This could be somebody's father as well who's a drinker. And maybe he wasn't invited because maybe he always causes problems when he shows up and drinks too much. But um, there's this energy of an offer of love. And again, this could be being offered love from your alcoholic father, for example. And that's why it's not being taken over here. Because he's always, there's the three cups, there's the three of cups. And there's a fourth one offering, don't you want my love too? And I'm like, no, because you always cause problems. So here's the king of cups reversed. But he's the one holding on to the grudge or holding on to his money, holding on to what he has, not wanting to share. So when he comes... He always, he's like a moocher. He comes in and he, he eats or drinks everybody else's stuff and never offers anything. And that could be anyone or being seen that way, especially if, you know, they're alcoholic because obviously that's a difficult energy to be around. So again, the Four of Cups comes up here of learning how to receive love. And then here is a choice. This could be someone being given a choice or an ultimatum, right? The only way that you can come together with us is if you do this or that and there's depression here the need to heal the need to um, to find a dream for yourself right because this could be arrogance too this could be someone saying well this is your ultimatum either this or this you know either you do this or you get out they don't want that fourth cup and this is the one offering this Ace of Wands over here, both places. It's being seen as temptation or the devil. But it may be coming from a place of wanting to heal. Wanting someone to accept this cup from them. This is this Page of Cups offering this innocent love. Again, this can just be boredom of love. Maybe someone gets love all the time, so they take it for granted. There's your arrogance, Capricorn. Someone who gets offered love all the time takes it for granted, and then when the real thing comes along, they're taking it for granted too, and they blow it off again. And again, and again, and again. And then there's depression setting in here. And then there's destiny hitting. And this is about un being very uncomfortable, right? This is walking away from something you put a lot of emotion into because there's something missing. And this is not walking away, even though you should be. Sitting in really uncomfortable, yucky energies of imbalance, inequity, not sharing. Maybe you're saying it's for the children. It's to, because you're doing research or you're studying something or maybe you need more information before you make a decision about something and to share your money. 
But this kind of negative energy there is destined to get someone to step up to the plate. You know, like the person, the woman who wants her man to step up for him so she causes chaos. So he'll do something about it because otherwise he would never pay any attention to her. So here's this page of pentacles. A student, a researcher, like examining every detail of that gold coin. Are they looking at the gold coin or are they looking at Christ consciousness? Are they looking at the material world or are they looking at the spiritual world? And this is very Capricorn. Are you going to be the student of life? What is it that you want to learn? There's this energy of inviting someone, giving someone an opportunity to redeem themselves, to come back into the fold. Those who were put into exile, allowing them back in to give it another go. And do you want to do that or do you know better? So it's uh, very much the energy of n learning how to discern. At 5566, that was 5556, because there is no 66. And that is the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords, right? Which is right here, the Ace, the Two of Swords is right here, of make, getting information or clarity to make a decision. And has the Ace of Swords come out yet? Maybe not. I was hoping to make this a shorter read, but it ended up being just as long. It's still an hour. So what is the truth? That the King of Pentacles here is in a dysfunction, very dysfunctional situation of wealth and loss of it. This is either someone who's all about it and doesn't give a crap about anything else. Or he's losing, he's losing his position, his money, his time, money, and effort. He may be losing money, losing family members. And the king, the emperor here is upright. He's upright, but the king of pentacles is reversed. And this could be because the emperor, maybe his father even, where the emperor's doing what is meant for him. It's his mission to be the emperor. And he expected the King of Pentacles to follow in his footsteps if it's his son. But that wasn't his mission. But because he didn't stand up for his true self and what he truly desired to do, he then created this big mess for himself of climbing to the top like the goat and then not liking what they see when they got to the top, looking down and being depressed. Right, here's then, this is also could be stepping down from this world of wealth and materialism and becoming the Knight of Pentacles and offering their services to those who don't have the tools, who don't know how to do things, are insecure, or perhaps maybe they're manipulative because they don't have the tools or the know-how, or this is someone who may be willing to teach you that. And end the conflict here, or leave the group, right? The never-ending battle of competition and say, let's put our swords down. Let's not compete. Let me help you. I'll show you how I do it. I'll show you how to do it better. I'll, I'll buy you the tools that you need, right? This can also be their child then helping them, right? Wanting to help the magician. Maybe he always wanted to be a magician. And here's the child coming up to the father and saying, well, dad, you always wanted to do this. Well, I can help you with that. I really know how to do this and this. I know how to do all the online stuff. So, and I could be your assistant too. But again, there's a, a way of, of, of ending the conflict here, whether it's between the grandfather and the grandfather here or the grandchild and the father here. But there's a lot of pentacles energy, that pentacles family. So who is the devil? The queen of cups. Maybe coming up is the devil or the Capricorn. And she's surrendering to her heart. And that may be what you're seeing as the devil because you're Capricorn and you see things in a very practical, logical way. And she sees things in a very heart-based way. She knows how to meditate and surrender to all that is in order to allow the universe to create what she wants to create. And then putting the work in by aligning with what you resonate with. So is this you? Is this the devil? It's Capricorn. So are you the Queen of Cups? Or are you dealing with the Queen of Cups? You have the Nine of Cups here. There may be other, maybe you see yourself as coming off as arrogant because you're very confident in your heart and your love. 
So you may see yourself as happy with yourself, but sometimes you might feel like that may be coming off as arrogance and then you feel sad. And Capricorn can definitely go into depression, but others are seeing you as the Empress, but she was reversed up here. You may be worried that people will see you in the wrong way. That's not the way, that's not your intention, but people are seeing you in a way you didn't intend. And so who is, if that's the devil, who's the angel? Who's the angel? This is the heated exchange. This is the, the delays. Whatever's causing your delays in communications or travel is trying to save you. And that's confirmation. Patience, maybe your patience, or delays with patience, is, is, what, is what saves you in the end. Whether this is you needing to have patience or someone else who's very patient with you, or if you're in the medical industry and you're dealing with patients, the delays in dealing with patients is saving you. Like, so don't worry that there's a delay and you won't get there. That if you were caught in traffic and you couldn't get to your appointment on time, there was a reason for that, either because it was saving you from something or perhaps this person needed to do something else and not see you. Maybe it wasn't for their highest good because maybe you're saving them and they need to save themselves. So there's always a reason behind things. You just can't always see them right away. So that was coming up as the angel, and the angel is offering a big offer right here. This is time, money, and energy. This, this is a new life. After lots of, of blocks, right? This is not seeing eye to eye, not seeing other, each other face to face. After lots of blocks and communications or travel, perhaps with the Queen of Cups, if that's not you. And here we have Sagittarius energy, Sagittarius energy. So you could have Cancer and Sagittarius energies here. All right, and here's Sagittarius or the patient angel offering big time, money, and energy or a new life as this energy is working to align with that energy. This is someone who wants to go forward and in success and lead the way. This could be someone offering to the successful person who's turning their back on them because they're like, I'm successful. I have a great reputation. I don't need your help. And they're being very arrogant about it, which could be you. Are you the person offering the help? Are you the person turning your back on it? And you're headed towards this wake-up call. Or is this six of cups? Is this woman over here putting her ass out? Right? This is the six of wands energy, right? Being out there in public, fully exposed to make announcements, right? And that can be like what I'm doing right now, right? Fully exposed, making an announcement. Or is this a funeral, a wake-up call? Are you going to a funeral? I was just getting the movie. What is it? Four deaths and a funeral? Is that what it's called? I, forget, I can't remember what it's called, but... Um, this judgment card is also coming up with the King of Swords, which could be an Aquarius man who's a liar or who's um, verbally abusive or is just giving you the silent treatment or at best, he's just a negative self-talk. But this could be an Aquarius person who's receiving good news. But is he going to be willing to accept it? Is he able to receive love? That seems to be the theme here for sure. And then he's got the moon right there. He can maybe have some subconscious energies he needs to deal with. Maybe he needs to go out and howl at the moon. Or maybe he's dealing with cancer. Maybe he has the disease or is dealing with a cancer person or romance here. That's not going his way when normally it always does. And this could be Libra energy or somebody with cancer or Libra in their charts. So... The underlying energy here is the Knight of Swords. So again, there's that verbal abuse. This can be attack. That's usually verbal. This could be silent treatment as well or holding their tongue even though they got a lot to say. And then there's the, all, the one behind it is this Hierophant energy, right? The one who is uh, having people held in servitude here. And there's that masculine energy, the all boys club here. And... Oh, the silent society here. So what kind of um, secret society are you involved in? 
And don't forget that these cards came up at the end. The Emperor, who's upright. Justice, which is also upright right here. They're both in the center of your weed. And then the Queen of Swords, along with the walking away, except this card was reversed in the reed, not walking away. All right, did the Queen of Swords even come up? Let's see if she's still in here. Yep, there she is. She's upright. There's some kind of secret society right here. And there's Leo involved, Leo and Taurus. Taming the beast. That's kind of creepy, actually. And they look upright. That's what's the scariest part of it. But it's definitely religious-oriented. So let's see from... From... Um, Romance Angels, what comes up for you? So the Emperor, the Justice, and the Queen of Swords are all upright, but they shouldn't, they're all upright, but they shouldn't be together because it's coming up with the Eight of Cups, which is reversed in this read, saying somebody needs to walk away from this. They don't resonate with each other. So Justice could be the uh, King of Pentacles. Maybe he's, got, he's a Libra or has Libra in his chart. But also the Queen of Swords could have Libra in her chart as well. This is for Capricorn, January 2023. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So like I said, it feels like business or family. There's a group that you're with that you don't resonate with, that you've been, you're all upright. So it doesn't mean that any of you are bad in this group. But it's also three and covens came up recently and there's this dark energy and obviously that's not for most of you but there's someone out there it is so there's religious factors and this is dark energy right here unrequited love and religious factors and they don't belong together right so there's something dark in this religion here and that's not for everybody for others it's just that there's too many differences between you, you shouldn't be working together because even though each of you has a talent you may not resonate with each other it may not be the right fit and there's deception here as well. Someone's wearing a false self mask in the relationship. And there's not enough attraction to keep this together. Your love life is influenced by whatever differences. It doesn't have to be religion. But the bottom of the deck is, yes, this is your soulmate. So you had, there was a retreat first, time to disconnect from the world that happened already to discover your soulmate or even discovering yourself again, who you really are. And accepting the unrequited love here or religious differences or the deception and getting out of a group that doesn't serve you, that's not right for you. Um, let me pull an energy, an energy card too. I want it to be shorter and this is longer than I go with any of my reads. But it is your birthday month, so maybe you just deserved a special read today. All right, for Capricorn... Capricorn, <sighs> Capricorn, January 2023, Capricorn, there we go, attachment, so again, letting go of things that no longer serve you, five is freedom, you need your freedom, freedom, change, expansion, removing the mask, so again, you can't find what you want unless you be what you are, so if you're in a job that is what other people expected you to do, you're being called to, to detach from these energies, whether it's a job, a people, family, whatever it is. You need to find out who you truly are and then work from that place. But as long as you're working from a place that, doesn't, that isn't the true you, you're going to attract people who are ultimately not going to serve your interests and it's going to work out badly for you. So again, letting go of attachments. And then here we have the first chakra, Archangel Michael. So you might need to do some root chakra work, so do some meditation and just sit with your root chakra and see what comes up for you. This is the 35 of the wounded warrior, the need to surrender right, to your roots. Go back to your childhood. What did you love to do? What did you hate to do? What kind of abuse did you incur when you were a child? Or lack of abuse? What was your joy? Were there people outside the house that may have abused you and you didn't realize it was abuse? because it was church or something else. Go to the root of it. Go to your sacral chakra, excuse me, your root chakra at the base of your spine in meditation. You don't know how 
you don't have to know how to meditate. Do some deep breathing and just relax and just focus on your root and allow whatever comes up to come up. Um, the bottom of the deck is Blossoming Abundance, which is the three of the Empress. So again, Mother Nature was very important for you up there. And again, that, that Jesus Mary Magdalene energy, but not as a religion, as a unity consciousness, right? The feminine receives the light and the masculine holds it. And that's a very twin flame energy up there. But there is this abundance of Mother Nature here, and there were adjacent possibilities for the Queen of Wands over here. So she may be taking that um, that option. Um, I don't know if the Queen of Wands is the Taurus energy or the Empress. They could be two separate people, um, but they're both reversed. The Queen of Wands is reversed, and so is the Empress over here. So I don't know if it's a mother and daughter team or it's the same person where she's a fiery Taurus. All right, so that could be someone you're dealing with as well. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's really about your wounding and doing the work. Like letting, if you're in something, even though if you're at the top of your field, but it's not what you love to do, you need to get out of that. You need to figure out who you are. It's not, it's not going to work out from here on. It's not going to be like it's been before. Everything's changing now. It's instant manifestation. And again, there's some dark energy here for someone. You need to get out of a situation that you know is not serving you. It's very clear here. You got the devil and the angel. Maybe you got them mixed up. And that's why you've been staying with the devil. Because you thought the devil was the angel and vice versa. Okay, if this resonates with you, this is the wake-up call to help you find yourself. Go back to what you love when you were a child. What did you love to do most? That's what you should be doing. Or that will at least lead you to what you, you're going to be doing. All right, Capricorn, I have to let you go even though it is your birthday month. Remember to drink plenty of water, get plenty of rest, plenty of joy, laugh, nature. And be good to yourself. Do what you love. If you speak your truth with love, you can never go wrong. You have to be willing to walk away. Not be afraid that people won't like you. You just have to be willing to walk away to be your authentic self. So rise and be loved, love and rise. I'll see you guys soon. It's all in the eyes. Bye Capricorn.